Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ellie and on this channel we discuss everything to do with fragrances. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the love and support. I appreciate it as always. Before we get into this video, I'm trying to make my intros quick. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of the things that every YouTuber always asks you to do. Seeing the little fragrance family grow makes my day, probably more than you'll ever understand. So today's video is looking at the layering combos that I have been using the most recently. I'm hoping that you will get some sparks of creativity from watching this video, or maybe you'll see something that you already have in your collection and you can remix to make a whole new fragrance. The first of which is something that I find beautiful for like an everyday easy reach fragrance out of two fragrances that lots of people will probably already either have in their collection or they might have samples of because these are two really popular easy reach fragrances of their own and this is a combination of Idol by Lancome and Fancy by Jessica Simpson. So Idol for those of you that don't know is like a pear and musk fragrance predominantly it's like a very classic fruity floral fragrance. Some people find it boring. I wouldn't call it boring as much as I'd call it kind of simple. It's really pretty. It's like juicy pear. There is a lovely musk in there. It tends to be one that people either rebuke in the name of Jesus or they say they love and can't live without. I sit somewhere in the middle but what I absolutely adore is when it's layered with the pear and caramel fragrance of uh, from Jessica Simpson. This just makes it the most like warm, juicy pear and caramel. It really just, the two separately don't compare to the two combined. The pear is what links them, so they both have pear in them. So there is a, like a unity in the two, but this has the caramel and this has that kind of sweet, light musk that just m makes it, it's not a heavy combination where it's two heavy fragrances. It really lifts the combination. It's such a good everyday scent. It smells not complex, but it just smells more complex than the two separately, which kind of makes sense. But this is a really common, easy reach for me to go to. And it's something that gets me compliments as well. And it really is not that complex. Another one that I discussed on my Instagram recently, if you've not followed me on Instagram, make sure you check it out. I'll link the information in the description box below. But this is one that I think is a little bit of a dupe for the new Le Vier Belle Soleil Cristal, which if you're not familiar with that, it is a very coconutty kind of sunscreen, suntan lotion uh, twist on the original Le Vier Belle. And this actually involves a Le Vier Belle flanker itself, which is Le Cla. This is the Eau de Parfum, as you'll see, I'm nearly out of this lovely orange and orange blossom fragrance with a little bit of patchouli. But when you layer it with Dolce and Gabbana, the only one intense, then you get the benefit of that kind of green apple coconut in this. This is a jasmine fragrance and orange blossom, but the jasmine is not too heavy. Oh, it's really nice. Mm. It's one of the fragrances that whenever I smell it, I'm like, oh yeah, I really love this more than I think I love it. I need to use this more often. And I'm going to do that by layering with Soleil, uh, with um, Le Cla, and that makes it very similar to Soleil Cristal. You may beg to differ and that's absolutely fine. Everyone's noses pick up things differently. But if you're not sure about Soleil Cristal, maybe you can't find it in shops or you just want to try it out more without getting a sample. If you've got these already, try layering them because Soleil Cristal to me smells quite a lot like Le Cla, but just with a coconut twist. And this gives you that coconut twist. So I think these are a fantastic layering combination. Okay, now on to a heavy hitter. Oh, these two fragrances are banging on their own, but one ups the projection of the other. And I'm talking about a mixture of Mancera Roses Vini and Kaali's brand new Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. So if you've watched my review on Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, you'll know what I think. But if not, make sure you check that out because it's just way more in depth than I could ever go into in this video. But the Kaali fragrance doesn't project very well on me, despite being a beautiful, like, sweet rose and peppery fragrance. It's banging, the scent. But it reminds me, at least the rose quality of, or the rose, like, facet, if you will, of Sweet Diamond, you'll remember I said in the video, reminds me of Rose's Vinny. It's the same kind of jammy, syrupy rose. Oh, yeah, it, that, oh. What can I say? I, I just love a rose. Look at me. I love it. Tell me I don't love it. 
but when you layer these two, oh, it's so good. It's so good. The pepper and the slight, this doesn't have oud in it, but it has an oudy quality, like very westernized oudiness, a depth, if you will, a very like amber quality. That just gives this, the Mansara, just that boost of like depth and sexiness that I think it lacks. This is a really lovely everyday fragrance for me, but I wouldn't call it sexy. But this, <laughs> this is sexy when you pair it with these. I love it. I'm getting giddy even talking about it because I just get so excited when I find out the two fragrances I own make each other better. I'm like, great, this is so useful. These two layered are really, really wonderful. The layering combination takes me in the same direction, not dupe for scent wise, but just the same kind of like use case as Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kerjean. Um, those kind of really opulent deep fragrances. So definitely if you own the two, if you're a rose lover, check this out. I think you would really, really love it. All right, next up is one that I've not seen anyone else talk about. I'm not saying I'm starting something because people might not love it the way that I do, but this was a weird like stroke of genius to me that has really worked out. And this is mixing Chloe, the Eau de Parfum, so the original Chloe, with, let me not drop it, one second, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. So Flower Bomb Nectar is like a super sweet, berry, fruity-ish, I mean, I know it's Flower Bomb, but it's not very floral to me, it's more fruity. Very sweet fragrance. But the sweetness, and it's, I swear there's gotta be some kind of white musk in here. It really evokes the image of powdered sugar to me. Like someone on my Instagram said it was like a powdered sugar donut. And at first I was like, hmm, I'm not sure, but no, they're right. Like I completely agree now. They've, they kind of brought me to that conclusion. This is like a powdered sugar donut. It just is lovely. It's a little bit Turkish delighty, a little bit in the, the super sweetness, but it's got a light airiness to it. Really love it. But with the Chloe, which has got a lovely, like, um, lychee note in it, but it's got a pear quality about it that I really enjoy as well. When you mix the two of them together, it's like sugar-coated lychees and pears. It's kind of airy, effervescent, really sweet. It's simple, you know, it's not the most complex, mind-blowing fragrance the way that I find the Roses Vanille and Sweet Diamond is quite, like, stunning. When you smell it together, it's like, oh yeah, that, oh, that's really nice. This is just like so pretty and so effortless in a similar way to how I'd layer Idol and Fancy by Jessica Simpson. It's just really pretty, really lovely every day. And I feel that I love this on its own, but this just gives it a different edge that makes it, yeah, just something a bit different for days where I don't just want to wear this on its own. And the last combination is such a good one. I've put it on my Instagram before and some of you have said you've layered it as a result and you've loved it as well. So I hope this reaches more people on YouTube. This is a combination between Parfait de Roses by Maison Lancôme and Parfum de Mali's Delina. So this is not a cheap layering combination and I'm not saying you should go out and buy these both just to layer them, but if you are a niche fragrance lover such as myself, you may well already own both of them, particularly if you're a rose lover also such as myself. And if you've not layered them before, definitely try it. It's such a lovely combination. The rose in both of them complement each other. I think they're a very similar style of rose. Delina is a very tart fragrance. It's got lychee and rhubarb in it. Whereas Parfait de Roses is very much the opposite. It's like a sweet, again, there's a, like a powdered sugar quality to it. There's a lot of white musk. It's very, the sillage and the projection is wonderful, but it's a soft fragrance. There's an edge to Delina. And what I find layering these two does is it rounds out the edges of Delina, but it makes... It makes Parfait de Roses sparkle in a way that it doesn't to me on its own. It's a lovely fragrance on its own and one that I'll be really sad when it's gone because it has been discontinued. But these two together just make such a wonderful, spray it on my arm, such a wonderful sparkling, sweet, slightly musky, slightly powdery, but not powdery at all in a vintage sense, like not even a little bit fragrance that I think if you are a rose lover, you will adore. And even if you don't love rose, but you just happen to like these fragrances, definitely check them out. I think you would really, really enjoy it. Okay, that's it for the layering combos video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. 
let me know down below what your favourite layering combinations are and definitely tell me if you try any of these because of this video, drop me a message down below or DM me. What do you think? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Do you have any suggestions on what I should layer? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!